guys welcome to the new edition on dev 10 so today we, we, we want to build this car racing game so if i click go <laughs> that was the first. okay so we have the results right here the, the car one finished at the position of first then with this time oh that's pretty fast so car two position second and um complete the race in two seconds seven 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 milliseconds so if i run that again we have that this is nice so now we have car two finished in the first place and time one seconds two milliseconds and car one finish at the second place and time two seconds three milliseconds so I will do it again and if you notice once I click this I won't be able to click the same button again so and once I click reset it's gonna reset the game back to the normal state so without further ado let's jump right here okay and of course you don't have to worry about all these images because I'm gonna put it in the description I'm gonna put the link down in the description so what I'm just going to do now right now is to go to my project folders so I have a project called car racing so I'm gonna right click and open with code so right now I'm using Visual Studio Code so if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed already on your PC you can just navigate to code.visualstudio.com So right here you can go ahead and download VS code for your system so I don't have to do that I've done that already so I'm just gonna close this okay so this oh let me close all this so this is our project folder right here so I've opened that with code which is right here Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now is to actually set up the index file, index.html. Then again, we want to set up the JavaScript file that we're going to be using in this project. And again, I have this jQuery right here. So of course you don't have to be worried this is going to be available in the description i'm going to put the link down in the description so this is the jquery that is required to run this project um, of course you can go online and get uh, the, the cdn link or you go to jquery to get the link but right now in this project I'm gonna be using this one so I'll just create a new file jQuery dash 2.1 2 2.4.js so paste that in close okay now we have two uh, JavaScript file the index file and the jQuery file then again I'm gonna create style.css so this is going to hold all our styles so first of all before I do anything so I'm going to set some defaults style padding 0 and again box sizing body box okay now let me go back to the to the game now this is the game we have the road I mean the race field then we have the cars two cars then again we have the scoreboard now let's take let's take care of the the road first of all so I'm gonna make the HTML skeleton so I'll say car racing okay so right here 
I want to have a div core hub. Then again, I want to have a div core road. Yeah, I think it is cool. So inside the road, I'm going to have two image tags. This one is going to set to, uh, I'll go IMG, then the car one. Then I'm just going to pass in the attribute of car one. Then again, what is cat? Car one. Then again, I'm going to pass ID car one. So just duplicate that car two. Two and two again. Okay, so I'm gonna have a div with class of buttons. Buttons, okay, so I'm gonna say button called give this ID of go. So this will be our go button. So go class of button and class of go button and the second one will be a reset ID of reset and the text is gonna be reset. Okay. So what I'm gonna have up here is actually gonna be um my race results this the scoreboard actually so i'm gonna pass in uh, a division with class name of score results okay so inside this i'm gonna have the first element it's gonna be car one results so inside this place i'm, I'm gonna have an h6 that says car one then I'm gonna have a strong then inside a strong I'm gonna have a span tag that says post as in position then I'm gonna have another span tag with ID car one post that is car one position so I'm gonna put dash for now so I'm gonna duplicate that and say car car one time that is the time to complete uh, the ways so I'm gonna say time okay so you have to copy this just paste it just change this to car 2 change the title to car 2 post to car 2 post car 2 time okay yeah, I think we are going to go here. So what I'm going to do now is to hook in my CSS. Say something like uh, link. Scroll down to CSS. Say style.css. All, all is cool. Okay. So right from here, I'm going to say road. I'm going to grab the road. Pass in the height of the height of three okay let's go 350 pixels as in the height now let's go background so we're gonna use uh, the road background so I'm G for slash road so of course um, should we repeat that I'm just gonna say repeat of x that is on the x axis on the horizontal axis should be repeat uh, say yeah for now I think so I'm gonna grab road IMG so now I'm gonna say position to relative Uh, this should be position relative then display block okay now I'm gonna say the road of car one 
set up to something around 15 pixels and whoops this supposed to be block then the height of each image should be let's go 120 pixels then object fits should be contained uh, okay so top of that then road car 2 the top should be set to something 40 pixels i don't know probably i need to increase this because 120 plus 120 that should be 240 plus 15 plus uh, 40 that should be 295 that is almost to 300 okay let's just see what we have so far uh so this is what i'm going to do come down here my index file open with live server so if you are not seeing this option right here so you can just come down to extension here if you're on visual studio code click extension then search for live server so this one right here just gonna click and install and that's all you're good to go so what click open with live server okay so wait for that okay so this is it we have our scoreboard right here so if you look at the race this is the first card this is the second card so i think we need to pass in some some top attributes we need to add something to the top position for the second car so if i pass 100 would that be a good idea oops let's go 80 okay yeah i think this is cool All right, so let's go for the buttons. So what I'm gonna do is to grab the buttons, say margin top, should be 10 VH. Okay, then buttons, button, font weights, 400. Padding, uh, I'll go 3.5, 0 0.75. This should be pixels. Uh, this should be OM. So let me just use this like this. Okay. So I'm just going to say border, 1 pixel solid chance parent. Okay. So border radius to something 10 pixels okay so I'm just gonna have buttons um, the the go the go I'm gonna say uh, background background should be I don't know so I'm going to just come here, then set the color. So I'm going to set the color to something red like that. That is 192.10.10, something red. Then color to white. I think this is all I need from here. Then again, text transform, probably make it uppercase. Oops, what is that? Okay. So I think this should be text align sender for the buttons, text align center. Then again, I'm gonna have this later somewhere. Say spacing, 
say padding top and bottom zero and this should be 1.5 frame okay so i'm gonna target buttons again then go um that is disable so because that we are going to disable this so i'm just going to say opacity the opacity i'm going to set that 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.4 okay then they will set buttons will set half per ground of leave it like that text let's say color zero, zero, zero. okay so I get that's all for that. So if I visit that, so we have it this way. So what I'm just gonna do now is to pass in a span tag, span with class of spacing. So we should have the effect now. So we have the go and we have the but the, the reset. So and again for the button. I need to say cursor pointer then for the disabled version of the go button I'm gonna say cursor that should be not allowed okay so for the score results score results we're gonna have the width to 400 pixels then margin zero auto margin bottom should be set to something 20 pixels i don't know okay then the score results then div floats left width should be 50 percent and probably some padding 20 pixels yeah i think we're doing good so for the score results then h6 that is the title the car's name uh, i'm just gonna say font size to 1.8 rm i don't know 1.5 actually Okay. Yeah, this is cool. Whoops, something is missing. Okay, let's see what we are actually doing wrong. The scoreboard with margin zero auto. Then the road, what happened to the road? All is well. So the scoreboard scoreboard the road. Yeah, I think that is actually because we've wrapped all these in floats. Okay, let me just say this. I don't want to do too much of scoreboard. Let me delete that. Okay, so we have it back. So come down here again. So just set this to public display or probably all the all the division to display inline black. I think I actually use that. Whoops. I don't know. Display to flex. The score result display to flex. So I should actually have them like this. Just like this. So what I'm go just going to do now is to say 
score results car one results set border right one pixel solid white or probably go gray then just to pass some background to the score results to pass a background here so i'll just do rgba 0.9 yeah that is looking perfect uh, um, yeah probably color color white to all and just remove the alpha let's make this rgb alone yeah. Zero, zero, zero. yeah so we have that so well yeah, i think we are done with the css parts so what we're just going to do now is to apply Jav javascript so when i click this the race is going just going to begin and when i click this it's going to reset back to normal but before we do that let's fix this so back to my html so let's just pass in probably you want to use a um, brief tag break tag that should work yeah for this and for this one just pass in break tag break tag yeah so when i click this we want to animate all this and this Okay, so inside my index.js, first of all, I'm going to say go dot on click function. Okay, so we're going to perform some JavaScript um, magic right here using jQuery. So the first thing I need to get is actually the, the car weight. So I'm just going to use the first car is car one the width i'm gonna set this inside a variable variable car width okay equals now i'm gonna get the window weight window width equals get the window whoops window width so i'm gonna say variable race length so you can just call this race length equals car equals the window width minus car width okay or oh, probably the race yeah race length that's cool okay so what I'm just going to do now is, so if I say car one should animate because we are using the animate function, should animate and set the left to race length, then just pass in probably five seconds to this. So if I go back and animate this. Oops, something is wrong. What am I doing wrong? Oh, that's, <laughs> I remember. So, just go back to your HTML code. Then, down here, it says scripts, source. So, we are just going to pass in the jQuery. jQuery. Then, scripts, source pass in the index.js and that's all so if i go back check that again we should have this animate moving yeah so let's do the same thing to the to the car too to animate so if 
I do that. But if we are doing this, we are just going to get the same position and the same time because we've set the timing to five seconds each. But we don't want to do this. We want to set the time. We want to generate the time, a random time. That is what we want to do. So I'm just going to say variable car one waste time equals math dot floor so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna generate a random number from here random 5000 so this is just, this is just gonna generate from 0 to 5000 so plus 1 and let's close this Oops, what am I missing? okay so instead of passing 5000 here yeah, this is car waste 1 I'm just going to pass car one waste time. So if I go again, so this is way too fast. So if I refresh, go again, we're missing something. What is missing? Boom, 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 boom. Um, so the lapo, um, this is for you. So you just have to remove this part. So you know how you do your things anyway. So here do I generate the random? Whoops! Oh my God! Okay, so I'm just gonna say random. Ah, Martin Gabriel again. So I'm just gonna say random. That's five thousand plus one. Okay. Yeah. So this is the car car one waste time. So if I go again, now we have some differences right there. Oops, just like that. Yeah, cool. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for car two. This is car one for car two. I say variable car two waste time equals to map dot floor map dot random so oops times five thousand so anything coming from there so plus one so Okay, so instead of passing 5,000, I'm just going to pass in car 2, waste time. So if I go back, refresh, go, refresh again, go, okay, then refresh again, right there, okay. So now, how do I manage? the time and the place okay so I'm, I'm gonna have a function here called race function whoops function race completed okay 
So, but before that, I'm going to have a variable is complete equals false. Then I'm going to have another variable place equals first. So what I'm trying to say here is that if the the race is not complete for a particular car, then the the place should be first. So probably that that is if you are the first to get to the finish line, then your place is first. So let's put that in action. So if I say if it's complete equals the force then is complete equals to true else is complete equals so else place equals to second so let's use this second and for the first let's use this okay so what we're going to do now is to run some function right after the animation once the animation is done we want to run this function so here we're just going to pass in the ways completed so waste completed is going to give us two variable that is is complete and place so if this race if the race is complete that is if this has already f um, get to the finish line before this then the place of this is just going to be second So, to put that in action, let's just say consider log car one place is, then I'm just going to pass in place, then again copy that, comma function, always completed, pass in the same thing consider log car2 place or probably let's change this to position position so what I did here is to select this then control D to look for anywhere we have um, position so I just change that so if I go now car one place is first car two position is second so i think we can replace that this should be position okay now now we have the the place and then we have the time so what i'm just going to do now is to say car one post the text equals po position then again car two place car two post equals the position again then car two time right here is the time should be car two race time then car one go back car one time should be car one race time okay so let's go back let's confirm this this is actually capital letter go back here control d oops we have only one time time okay so if i go back run this we have finished first and the time is 980 and the time is 4840 so this time they are in milliseconds so we're just going to convert that to second so i'm going to say car two raise let's pass seconds equals to car two a trace time for us minus 1000 so this is ju just going to convert this very time to seconds so right here we we'll pass second so we're just going to do the same thing here pass second then declare it whoops this is a variable 
so variable car one race time second equals car one race time divided by 1000 okay so if i go again now we have 0 0.97 then we have three seconds six hundred and forty four milliseconds so let us pass in s here oops s to a percent second and s here to a percent seconds okay so we're good yeah we're good oh this is too slow four seconds okay so what I, what i want to do now is to actually reset all the action once i press the reset button so what i'll do now is to say grab the reset dot on click function so i'm going to set all the car dots CSS have left to zero. Then again, I'm going to say car one post the text to empty. Nope, not to empty to dash. Then car one time, same thing. So I'll copy this. So just to make car two, car two done. So if I click this, boom, race. So this is actually not going back. Why? 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 So let's let's do it one by one. Car one left, then car two. CSS left. So we should have. Wow. Close, close. Go back. Do that again. That was close. So to finish it up, we're just gonna pass in the sayboard this button the go so we're just going to disable this button on click save cop say disabled set that to true then when I click the reset button this should go back to false so that's it guys, see you next section.